Hi everyone and welcome to the weekend mama. I am absolutely fine and hope you all are doing good and safe. In today's video I am going to show you my fridge organization and some tips for a quick and easy way to organize your fridge. This is Samsung 730 liters two door refrigerator and almost a decade old. Organization is not about big or small spaces but it is an art which makes daily life easier. I try to keep my fridge clean and tidy and make sure that I know what is in my fridge and try not to waste anything. I weekly clean out my refrigerator with the help of half vinegar half water solution and do deep clean once in a month. Each household has different preferences and we should manage things according to our needs. There is a pandemic or not washing vegetables before putting them into the refrigerator is a good practice when it comes to hygiene before and after washing vegetables wash your hands well thoroughly rinse the vegetables and fruits dry them using clean kitchen cloth or paper towel or let them air dry I personally think that clear bins and containers are really helpful when it comes to fridge organization. It's not only mesmerizing to look at well organized fridge, but actually an organized fridge also saves time. I prefer to cut some vegetables and store in airtight containers. It is recommended that all cut veggies should be consumed within 2 to 3 days. Since a long period of time I cut and keep the onions in fridge which helps me to cook faster and believe me it is not at all harmful. Dry coriander leaves completely and place a paper towel at the bottom and at the top of the coriander leaves keep them fresh for a long time. Dry and de-stem green chilies. Place a paper towel inside the container before putting into the refrigerator keep them fresh. I like to keep them together. Storing peeled or cut carrots in water keep them fresh for a week. Similarly to keep lemons fresh store them in a glass jar full of water and place it in the refrigerator. I prefer to make separate ginger and garlic paste as some recipes needs to add only ginger or only garlic.
let's start from the top shelf in this shelf i keep all the juices and some items which i don't need on daily basis Let's move to the second shelf. If you have young children, you can reserve a bin for their snacks and whatever items they like to have. This shelf is reserved for egg tray. In this tray, I keep some chocolates. In this shelf, I have kept some of vegetables, baby corns, coriander leaves and green chilies. And in this container, I have stored marinated chicken for chicken roast. In these containers I kept cut pumpkin, spinach and blanched cauliflower. I always use glass storage for each item I need to store for a week or so. I cut butter in cubes and store in this container. Here I kept jars of carrots, lemons, some cut veggies in airtight containers. I also prefer to store peeled garlic. Here I kept this basket with some veggies. This part of the shelf I keep empty to store all the leftovers. In this drawer I stored cut onions and if needed some more containers will be added. In the bottom drawer I stored tomatoes and some extra vegetables which I will cook in the coming week. In the upper shelf of the door I have kept ginger and garlic paste. Homemade imli chutney, green chutney which can be served with some breakfast items and evening snacks. For me the most important thing is to find a place for everything. Like I keep extra milk and curd packets in this tray. Keep water bottles in this section. And the last section is reserved for milk bottles. In this shelf I also kept some opened packets of sauces. This organization makes my life so much easier and saves time too.